We are hoping that we land on some packs today. Yo, what's going on, Leaf Nation? It's Leaf, we're back again, and welcome back to the Wheel of Hut. Today, we're hoping we have some better luck on the wheel. If you guys missed last episode, the link will be in the description down below. Before I spoil it for you, I'll wait here for you guys to decide whether or not you want to watch the first episode or not. Okay, now that that's done, last episode, we landed on sets. We were able to upgrade our X-Factor Konechny up to an 81, and then our second spin got us bankrupt, which we still need to minus 2,269 coins once we have access to the auction house, which should happen after our first game of the episode. But before we can head into our first game, we need to spin the wheel for the first time. We're hoping for some better luck. We do not want to hit bankrupt. We want to hit some packs, man. We've yet to open up packs. Uh, we won both our games last episode with the team that we had with lots of silvers and bronzes. I don't think that will be the case today, right, boys? So we're hoping for some packs. Let's go, boys. First spin of the episode, and we are getting open up one pack. Okay, we were hoping for some packs. We got it. We're happy. Okay, so now, in terms of packs, I am able to open up any pack I want that is in the store at the time that I am recording the episode. So... I got to make a decision. The NHL players pack looks pretty good. It would help us out a lot. We get 10 items, all gold NHL players with at least 480 pluses. We have the premium players packs where you get 280 pluses. And then we have this puck offer drop, which we have 17 days to get. We get one times 82 plus, five times 80 pluses and two power up collectibles. So I'm kind of leaning towards the puck drop offer over the NHL players packs. I want to kind of look at the odds. 46% chance at an 83 plus. And we have a 3.1% chance at an 86 plus. What is it for an 86 plus here? 1.3. So you know what? We're going to go with the puck drop offer pack. Now these cards are untradeable. So let's see what our 82 plus is going to be. Hopefully it is a good player that we can throw onto the team. I mean, anything that we pull here is going to be good. Kevin Shattuckirk, going to make the team. So anything that we pull here, any gold cards that we pull essentially are going to make the team right off the bat. Okay. So there's our power up collectible. There's our other power-up collectible. We're still waiting for our 82 plus, and it's gonna be Jamie Ben. Don't know how I feel about that, but again, it's an upgrade over anything. You've got power forward, very slow man. 82 speed, 82 excel, decent looking shot. I mean, he could be good. Trevor Zegras. Okay, two 82 pluses in this pack. Is this pack juiced or what? Zegras looks good. Playmaking forward, 87 speed, 87 excel. Good shooting stats, good hands. Okay, we will take a Trevor Zegras. Another, okay, Dan Vladar. Our goaltender was good last game. Do we put in Dan Vl Vladar? That is a question. I mean, 6'5", 209. I'm going to consider throwing him in there. Okay, what is this pack? What is this pack? 282s and an 83. Elias Lindholm, welcome to the team. Playmaking forward, which is a synergy I want to get going. He has an ability as well, being snipe. Um, fast. Decent shot. Okay, we will take an Elias Lindholm. Uh, Joel will probably make the team as well. And then a goalie mask. But hey, good first pack for uh, this series that we've opened. Zegris, Ben, Vladar, Lindholm, and Jewel. Welcome to the team. And Shattenkirk, my bad. Okay, changes have been made to the team. Our first line's looking pretty juicy now. Travis Konechny is playing with Elias Lindholm and Tyler Burt. Who's he, the leading goal scorer of this team? We have Jamie Ben with Trevor Zegris and Spencer Watson. And then we got Nick Robertson, who got demoted down to the third line, playing with Pierre and Akan. And then we got Lafferty playing with Big Leary, uh, Big, Big, Big Leary, sure, and Nathan Espinel. And then on D, we have Shannon Kirk with Nose. We got Ariola Helgeson. And then we got Dillingham Morelli with Payar. And then in net, we did put in Dan of Ladar. So the team is looking good. Still only have two way defensemen activated. We're one off a two way forward, one off a defensive defenseman, and four off a defensive boost. So we are getting there. In terms of our abilities here, we have Konechny with no contest. We have Zegers with Puck on a string. Jamie Ben with Back at you. Tyler Bertuzzi with Crease Crasher. And Elias Lindholm will now have Snipe activated as well. So the team is looking decent. It's time to head into the first game of the episode. Now this episode, we have Hut Rivals Burst, which is two minute periods, uh, 5v5, all right? So after this game, we will probably have access to the auction house 
At that time, I will go buy something for 2,269 coins and technically go bankrupt, but I will still have some coins left over because I played a game last episode and I will be playing a game now. All right, we have found our first game. Kale McCarr, Jack Hughes, and Martin St. Louis. This guy looks like he has a pretty decent squad on the other side. It should be an interesting game. So we got a couple debuts here after opening our first pack in the series. This guy's played a lot of Ultimate Team. 29, 23, and 2 is his record overall. We are 2-0. Let's try to keep that perfect record up, boys, all right? Konechny to Bertuzzi, and Bertuzzi on his first shot's gonna score. He is our leading goal scorer to continue. I believe that's his third this series. Atta boy, Bertuzzi assisted from Konechny as well. And Lindholm in his debut. Not the start I was expecting, but hey, we're up one nothing. Tyler Bertuzzi has been a staple to this team. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we're on the kill for about 53 seconds. What a play. No, okay, okay, dude, my team feels so, like, delayed in everything they're doing right now, it's actually crazy. We gotta watch out, he's got Joe Sackick too, this guy's got a very good hockey team. There we go, here we go. Nice, get around him, take it to the net, Zegris, nice try, he still has it. We're gonna do it, we're doing it, boys. We tried, we tried, we had to, it was with Zegris, you gotta try it with Zegris, man, I feel like you just have to. Oh, what a pass and what a goal, man. He just, I don't know. I, I did not see that pass being something that was going to be able to go through the slot like that. It ended up happening. Timo Solani makes it a one-to-one -one hockey game. Oh, boy. A little bit worried here, boys. He's a decent player with a good team. It's not looking good. All right, let's remember the tie-up scenario that he's been doing. All right, we did it. All right, good, good, good. There you go. Low shot rebound. That wasn't really low shot, but we still have it. Take it to the net. Oh, okay, that almost got deflected in for us. Here we are. Oh, what a poke. End of one, the game is pretty even. Even shots, close to even time on attack. I mean, hell, this guy's got a good team. I keep saying it. Uh, we just got to keep playing our game and, and chipping away at this. Where is my defense? What is he doing? Bro, this game actually sucks. This game actually sucks. What is my defenseman doing? Hello? EA, come on, man. Need a better product than this. This should not be happening in 2023. Bro, his AI is just like attacking me constantly. It's not even him. What a pass. What a goal. We're down 2-1. to one. It's, He's letting his AI control the game. I thought EA kind of fixed that. Doesn't really look like it though. I mean, hey, at the end of the day, he's got a better team. There's not much really we can expect right now. It's a little tough. I kind of have high hopes after last episode and, and beating two guys with the team that I had. <sighs> this one's going to be more of a challenge. Take it to the middle. Get that puck. Shoot it again. Horrible. Like, why would I want a backhand shot there? I wanted it on the forehand. Not going to work out. Good catch. And you know what? I'm just not even going to control. If he scores, he scores. I, I can't I can't believe that, that puck bounced to him somehow. That's a nice toe drag. I'm not going to lie. Here we go. Over across Robertson. Oh my god, the deflection. The fact that I got to Robertson is insane. What a save, man. End of two. He's up by one. Uh, just got to keep playing our hearts out here, man. I don't know. Uh, this team does not feel as good as it did episode one. I I'm going to say that right now. Could it be because we're playing a better player? It's possible for sure. Who really knows? I mean, we got a third period ahead of us. We got 20 minutes to play out. We have time to tie this up. I have faith. I believe. No way Bertuzzi's getting knocked around that easily. Not my Tyler Bertuzzi. No, I wanted that around the boards. That's okay. Played out in front. Bang! Tyler Bertuzzi with his second of the game. Fourth of the series. This card has carried. Same with Travis Konechny. This first line is insane. Tie game. Bang! What a goal. Let's go, boys. Okay, need faster passing. Just need a faster brain. If, if that's possible, if someone can give me that, that'd be great. To Jamie Ben. Jimmy Ben takes a hit. It's going to work out. Our player's almost dead tired. Take it to the net. Bang. Holy saves. Oh, my God. Goaltender keeping them in it as they should. What a poke. Oh, my God. That was going to go in if we didn't get a stick on that. Brian Gianta coming in. He's going to play to the point. I knew it, too. Knee poke. Knee poke. Seven seconds here, boys. Don't know where the puck is. It's just bouncing to him. We're going to hold on to it. I lied. We're not. And we're heading to overtime. And we have a power play going into it. He took a penalty. It's a good thing we played that puck. Overtime it is. Tied at 2-2. <sighs> we 
We could win this, boys. We could absolutely win this. Okay, Tyler Bertuzzi to Sam Lafferty. Need to get something going here. There you go. Okay, okay, okay. Bertuzzi. Oh, Bertuzzi's still looking for his first hat trick. He had two goals in the last episode as well. Nice, Bertuzzi. You're fine. You're fine, Bertuzzi. No way he pokes that puck. Oh, and this is game. Yep. I knew it as soon as he had that opportunity. We lose our first game. and Not in regulation, though. So I guess that's something. But I don't know, man. It was tough. This team just feels so heavy, so slow. They get knocked off so easily. Comes with the territory. It's not a great team, obviously. And I mean, looking at our player stats here, Bertuzzi with another two goal performance. He's up to two. Connect me with two assists. Lindholm with an assist. It was our first line that played the game well. Other than that, our team did not play well. In terms of Dan Vladar, I mean, 800 save percentage for an 80 overall goaltender. You can't really ask for more. And then looking at the stats, it was a pretty even game. Uh, Could have gone either way. We still don't have access to the auction house because you need to win three games to have access, access to the auction house. Why does that make sense? Don't know. But we can't go bankrupt yet. So sorry, boys. All right. So we finished that game. Lost it in overtime. It's okay. We, we take it. It's fine. But with that being said, we're back to the board and we're back to having to spin the board. I have to take my headphones off because there's no range of motion when I do it, all right? So we're on open one pack. We're looking for some more packs because the team definitely needs help, all right? So here we go. Spinning the wheel for the second time this episode. And we're opening up three packs. Oh, baby, we couldn't ask for a much better spin. Three packs are going to help us out big time. I think, I mean, we go with the NHL players pack. I think they're better than the premium players packs. We get to open up three of these. I have to look at the wheel one more time just to be sure. But three of these NHL players packs get to be open. And we're hoping for something big here, right? Uh, Ravel, Harvey, Pinard again. Anything that we pull essentially right now is going to help the team, all right? So uh, Lafreniere going to help out the team for sure. Colton Sissons, okay. Morgan Frost. Our centers are pretty, uh, pretty stacked right now. I wouldn't say stacked, but where we have most of our gold players. Morgan Frost might be able to play the wing, though. Erica Branson, Jakob Silverberg, Daniel Sprong. Okay, not too bad. Oh, my God. Okay. And we pull game day Evgeny Malkin, who just got upgraded to an 85 because his team won the game the other day. Evgeny Malkin with playmaking forward. Like I said, we're trying to get that synergy activated. A little slow, but his shot's amazing. Great hands. Good checking stats, good, decent defensive stats. That is a huge pull. Our first big pull of the series. That is amazing. Welcome to the team, Gino Malkin. And then Luke Glendening and Jonas Johansson, starting goaltender, by the way. I mean, Evgeny Malkin, hello. Welcome to the team. Can we top that, though? That is a question. I don't think we will be able to, but you never know. Brent Seabrook, okay. Nikita Zadorov, Dmitry Kulikov. Sean Dursey, we're getting some good defensemen, which we actually do need some good defensemen. Our D felt so slow last game. Uh, Mikhail Granlin, we're getting speedier. We love to see it. Uh, Torp Torpchenko, okay. Uh, Philip Zadina, David Perron, and Scott Wedgwood. Okay, not as good as the last pack, but again, th these players will help out the team for sure. I don't doubt it. And last but not least, the third and final pack from the wheel. What will we get? Again, can we top a Gino Malkin? Who knows? Andreas Janssen, some more speed. Okay. Beauvillier, not too bad. Jake Muzzin. Uh, Darcy Kemper. Okay. We have a good goaltender. Darcy Kemper, 82 overall, 6'5". Okay. We're happy with that. We will take a Darcy. We will take a Kaliev. Uh, ooh. Okay. We pull another goaltender. Do we use this Philip Gustafson instead? He's 6'2", 184. Probably faster than Kemper. I think we try out Gustafson, and then if he doesn't work, we have Kemper to lean on as well, okay? Not too bad. Eric Chernak, uh, Pat Maroon, uh, Kevin LeBanc, and Nosek. Okay, so not too bad of these packs. Three of them. They helped the team tremendously. Let's throw out. Let's throw out. Let's throw on some of these guys to the team. So, boys, it looks like Robertson and Lafferty are on their way out. Uh, Morgan Frost is going to be our fourth line center for the time being. Robertson and Lafferty, they were great while they were here, but uh, you know, better players come along and you got to use them. Okay, so we have updated the team with all of the good pulls that we have gotten from those three packs. So, this is what the team is looking like. This first line was already cooking. You add in. Evgeny Malkin with Konechny and Bertuzzi. You got to assume that Bertuzzi and Konechny are just going to continue to play well. Second line is looking way better. Daniel Sprung, Elias Lindholm, Elias Lindholm, and Jamie Benn. 
Third line will be Lafreniere, Zegris, and LeBanc. And the fourth line will be Silverberg, Frost, and Pinard, which we threw in to get Playmaking Forward activated, which is going to be huge for Lafreniere, Zegris, Malkin, Lindholm, Frost, and Harvey Pinard. Okay. And then on defense, we have Chernak playing with Nikita Zadorov. We have Sean Derzy with Dmitry Kulikov. And then we have Kevin Shattenkirk playing with Jake Muzzin. And then in net, we have Gustafson, who we're going to try out first over Darcy Kemper. Looking at our abilities, uh, we got to activate Ankle Breaker onto Evgeny Malkin. Other than that, it's all the same stuff. All right, boys. So we're heading into our second game with a different looking team with a hopefully a better feeling team as well we really have no excuses for the next one second game has been found darlene barkov and steven stamkos decent looking team but our team's looking pretty good now too so we i don't know let's just see how they perform i'm excited to try out this evgeny malkin on the top line with bertuzzi and connect me this guy's a similar record to me so it's good to see it's good to see all right so i'm getting dumped and chased on which honestly almost worked it looked like our defenseman was not gonna go do anything about it what a pass to connect me Okay, Bertuzzi, bang. Oh my god, Bertuzzi is like the goal man on this team, I feel like. He's getting another chance. It's a great, great uh, defensive play by him. I'm not going to lie. Skated, I believe that's Sean Dersey. Play it back, Sean Dersey, first shot on goal. Good save. Over across. Oh my god, Flurry is robbing us. Don't know how we're not up by at least one. I really don't. End of one. And I, we're playing. I feel like we're playing better. Four shots to his none. Uh, you know, double more than double his time on attack. Uh, we're feeling good. The team's looking good, feeling good. We need Malkin to win a draw though. He's worrying me just a little bit here, boys. Good long pass. Travis waiting up for Bertuzzi. Nothing really uh, opened up for us there. Connect me. Just take the shot. The rebound with Malkin and Flurry robbing his former teammate. Oh my goodness. Here we go, Daniel Sprung. I th no, that's Jamie Ben. That's Jamie Ben. I gotta get used to the new lines. Jamie Ben to the net, and Jamie Ben's gonna score in his second game of the series. He's gonna make it a one nothing hockey game, assisted from Nikita Zadorov and Daniel Sprong. Okay, boys, good stuff. A little backhand sauce. Cut to the middle. I see Zegris. Take it to the net, Zegris, and Trevor Zegris in his second game, I believe, makes it two to nothing, assisted from Kevin LeBanc and Eric Chernak, bang. We are finally scoring some goals here, boys. It's nice. Kevin LeBanc, what's he got cooking? That's what a lot of people are asking. That's Silverberg, it's not even Kevin LeBanc. I don't know who's who on the ice right now. It's actually not good. We, that might cost us a goal here. Bang, big save, and okay. Well, we had the flying poke check there. It said offside on my screen, so I thought I was offside with Bertuzzi. Clearly we weren't, and it kind of costed us a goal because I was trolling. Two to one. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not too, too worried. End of two. We're, we're playing way better. Poor Philip Gustafson on his first two shots. I mean, he made the flying poke and then the rebound just kind of trickled out to his guy. Uh, can't really evaluate Gustafson right now. You know what I mean? I, I kind of feel bad for the guy. It wasn't his fault. It was on me. Nice. Gino, take the shot. Oh, good save. Travis Konechny. There's Gino Malkin. Open. Oh my God. What a save from Flurry. We, Gino cannot figure out his former teammate Flurry. Gino, out in front, bang! Oh my God, Bertuzzi! I don't know how Bertuzzi, Bertuzzi does not have a goal this game. I really do not. We got full pressure activated. I feel a Bertuzzi goal coming here. Here we go, boys. Here we go. Misses his hit. Oh, that was kind of a weak shot. Our guys are tired, to be fair, man. So let's get it changed. Take it to the net. All right, Flurry, man. Kept that a one goal game, but we take the win, boys. That is absolutely massive. And now we have ac uh, access to the auction house. Finally, man. Oh my God. And we're getting some coins here as well. We completed some objectives as well. So there's nothing up for 2269. So it looks like we're going to have to do 2250. Going to be close enough to bankrupt. We'll buy this Dallas Stars jersey and we're just going to hang on to it. All right. So there we go. There is finally our bankrupt portion. Uh, of the series we're still at 5.9k which is pretty good so if we land on buy any player we can probably land someone pretty decent since it's rivals burst and the games are pretty short we're gonna play one more game this episode so that means we have to get this or we have to we get to spin the wheel before our last and final game of this episode we landed on three packs earlier and one pack way back earlier this episode so can we get more packs? Can we buy a special card? Buy any player? Let's see what we are going to end up getting here. 
on our final last spin of the episode and it is going to be open up one pack so in total this episode we have opened up five ultimate team packs which is absolutely beautiful we needed this back to the store and i think we're going to go back to the nhl players pack i mean these packs i don't really want to open these hut headliner packs so we have one pack to open that's what the wheel gave us and I forgot to switch scenes, so we're opening up the NHL players packs. Thank God I noticed last second. All right, David Kampf, uh, Joe Pavelski. All right, to go along with Jamie Ben, we will take a Joe Pavelski. That's a good pull. Ryan Nugent Hopkins, 282 overall. So the team is looking mighty fine with those two pulls. Eric Halla, uh, Chad Rudewheel, Trevor Moore. All right, we're getting faster, which we like. Sam Lafferty, who we already have. Anti Ranta, another good goaltender to have. And Capo Caco. All right, so. We got some pretty good cards there. Nugent Hopkins, Pavelski being the two big ones. Let's go throw them onto the team. All right, so Jakob Silverberg had a little good run on this team. After getting Joe Pavelski, he is unfortunately getting off of the team. Okay, so really only two changes to this team, maybe three. The first line staying the same. Second line now has Pavelski playing with Lindholm and Jamie Benn. The third line is now going to be Daniel Sprung, Trevor Zegris, and Ryan Nugent Hopkins. The fourth line will be Harvey Pinard, Morgan Frost, and Trevor Moore. What I might do is switch around Ben and Nugent Hopkins to get some more speed onto that second line. The third line is pretty fast already, so we can afford a slower player like Jamie Ben there. Defensively, we're staying the exact same. Goaltending, we are also staying the exact same. Third game, Koivu, Hughes, Coffee. Oh boy, all right. We're coming up against a very, very good team. He's got some icons in there. Uh, it's it's going to be interesting. Another Montreal uh, Habs fan, which is okay. Let's see how this game goes. But we're going to take advantage. Evgeny Malkin, take the shot. Okay, good hit from Konechny. That's a penalty. What? The puck was right there. And I was also spamming up on the right stick to get the rebound. And instead, we get a penalty to start off the game. All right, not ideal. Not ideal at all, boys. Let's go, Malkin. Low shot rebound, and there it is. Bang. Who scored that? Joe Pavelski in his debut. The player that I forgot. He makes it a one to nothing hockey game. Malkin with an assist. And same with Eric Chernak. All right. That was a good low shot rebound there. I knew that we needed something like that. God, whoever that is is so fast. Paul Coffey, my God. Good block. Jake Muzzin playing offense this shift. No, I did not want that there. But it might work out. Bertuzzi over to Konechny. Oh my god, just misses the net, and the first period will end with us up 1-0. Back to Gino, to Bertuzzi, and Bertuzzi hits the post! Oh my god, Tyler Bertuzzi has gotten a little bit snake bitten since scoring the two goals in the first episode. Oh, that's a rebound that you don't want to see, thank god. But yeah, Tyler Bertuzzi just can't find the back of the net right now. He's getting the chances, just cannot find the, the, the back of the net. Good poke. Man, we really need to upgrade our defense. If we land on like buy any player or something like that, we are going to need to get some defensemen. This guy loves his Michigan, man. My God. We are cooking. All right, it's okay. That's a good pass. It's a good block, though. Here we go with the Michigan. All he's trying for, man, is the Michigan. Uh, how he still has his puck, I'm not too sure. And he gets that puck through my defenseman that's sitting right on top of Joe Sakic. 1-1 one, one game. Uh, yeah, man. It's it's interesting. And it's two, he definitely had a way better period than the first one. So, not great on my end. We're still tied, though. So, we're in this game. Good poke. Good hit. Up the ice. There we go. Oh, we're gone. We're gone. We're actually gone. Go, go, go. Nugent Hopkins. Over across. Bang. What a save from Bobrovsky. All right. Both wingers just not on their side. That pickup was great until it went right back to him. So that's that's something as well. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Here, here we go with the freaking Michigan. Such a loser, dude. All right, here we go. Over across, bang. Nice. Dodge the hit. Over across, Jamie Ben. And it goes in. I don't care. I do not care how it went in. 2.5 to go. And Daniel Sprong with the biggest snipe you will ever see. Oh, baby. We are watching this too. This guy going from Michigan's 24-7. This has this has to be the goal of the year so far in NHL 24, boys. Come on. Look at this, right? Pass. Sniped. Bang. We take it. Let's go, boys. All right. So, uh, I mean, two and a half seconds to go. We're going to tie it up. We're going to dump it in. And we are going to call it a game. We come out 
this episode 2011 we haven't lost a regulation yet this series which is nice and we're getting an achievement as well so we are in division three with this team maybe we should have lost that game to get a lower division but hey it's okay we're gonna watch this coin total go up as well so that game we're up to 6400 coins we have an objective as well which is gonna give us a thousand coins so we're up to 7400 coins which makes me a little nervous because bankrupt is always a possibility so hopefully we can land and buy any player soon and pick up a decent player for that coin amount but anyways guys that is going to be it for today's episode if you guys did enjoy it, be sure to drop a like on it if you guys are new around here make sure to hit the subscribe button down below for more wheel of hot episodes and more nhl 24 content in general but yeah guys like i said that is it for today's video thank you guys very much for watching and i'll talk to you guys later peace